I am here to talk about uh, my three separate savings challenges that um, I am working with right now. Um, these savings challenges will be available on my website soon. I just haven't had a whole lot of time to get them posted, but I've had a lot of questions of how these work. Um, this, these are only 100 envelope challenges, okay? There are three separate 100 envelope challenges, okay? So we will go through each challenge slowly so I can explain since I've had a lot of questions. Um, so the first 100 envelope challenge is my lowest challenge. Um, so typically like these, I will put like low, um, hopefully you can see that. Like I have medium here. So this is my low challenge. And this is a challenge that'll give you a little over $1,300. I just evened it out at 13. Um, then there is a medium challenge that will give you $25.50. And then there is a high challenge that will give you $50.50. $5,500. $2,550 and $1,300. Okay, so each of these, let's start with the $1,300, the low challenge. The low challenge is $1,300 and it has envelopes numbered one, through 25 four times. So you will not place any amount in an envelope higher than $25, okay? And that will result in over $1,300, a little over 13, but I just evened it out at 1,300. The second challenge is the medium challenge. This has envelopes one through 50 two times. So you're gonna have in the first challenge, you're gonna have four envelopes of each number. So there are four ones, four twos, and so on and so forth. In the medium challenge, you're gonna have each number two times. So you're gonna have two number ones, two number fives, two number fifties. You are not going to put anything in an envelope above $50 here, okay? The third challenge is the highest amount and this is $5,050. These numbers will not repeat. So they are just labeled one through 100. And your envelopes will be labeled one through 100. Here, your envelopes will be labeled one through 50. Here, your envelopes will be labeled one through 25. Four times, two times, no repeating. Okay. Now, when do you do this? Whenever you feel like it. You know I am all about doing what works for you. If you can do this every day, some people can do, complete the 50-50 challenge, $5,050 in 100 days. Me, myself, personally, I can't do that. Remember from my previous videos, I've been off work, on leave. So this is my current challenge. So once I am back to work, I will be working on probably all three of these at once. You do what's realistic for you, you do what works for you. You can do it bi-weekly, you could fill two or three. Like I love this one through 25, so I can fill in three or four per paycheck. You know what I mean? So like once I'm done with what I have 
or you know whatever my savings amount is i just fill a couple envelopes so let me give you an example because these weren't ready when i did my challenges so this is what a box will look like a standard box it's a small box it's about it's uh 29 ounces and 850 milliliters it's about I don't have a ruler in front of me, but I think it's about six inches wide. No, five, but like five inches wide, uh, six inches high, and no, three inches high. Y'all, I don't know. It's a small box. <laughs> Put it that way. Um, I'm not good at dimensions. Um, so this will be the standard box. Um, I have a few clear ones right now. These are very hard to find. I do have an order. Actually, I need to check on my order. I have an order of like four different colors coming in this one. Um, I do not have my envelopes over here to actually pause friends. So, um, here are a couple of the examples of the envelopes that I will have for these challenges. You'll get 100 envelopes. Here's a tie-dye one. Isn't that pretty? Look at these. Gorgeous. Here is a, like a galaxy-ish starry night type one. This has like blue, shades of blues and grays. And I have a vintage style. It has like butterflies and blues and tans and purples, vintage style. So those are just a couple of examples of those that will be available. All right, so let's go over how, when it comes to what you have and how much money you have, let's go over how you would complete this. So, comes to payday, you've done your cash stuffing or whatever you've done. You can do this electronically, but I'm just not a fan of electronics, so there's that. So let's get this zoomed in a little bit more, guys. All right. So, hopefully I stay in frame as much as I can. And sorry about the glares. Um, so, this is going to be my real one. Um, I, don't, I didn't want to make these any smaller. So, they don't quite fit. But, here's how you can do it. Like this. And fold it down. It will be laminated just like this one is. So, um... You could put it in and kind of fold it back and it still won't ruin it. And then if you want to rotate it sometimes, you know what I mean? So that side is not the only side that's getting bent. You can do it like that. Or you can just simply leave it outside of the envelope I get, or the box. I guess I can make these a little smaller um but i just wanted to keep it i might i might see if i can cut this and just make it wider here maybe since i have more room this way i don't know but anyway so let's go in and fill in what i stuffed now these this is my sample so this is written on Yours will not be written on. I do have stickers, guys. Yeah. Um, those that purchase will not be written on. I just wrote on it because I, I wasn't waiting for my stickers to come and I didn't care because it was mine. All right. Let's get this out of the way so it doesn't confuse us. All right. So here are all the envelopes that we stuffed on payday. So what we will do is do 13. And these will be reusable. So any either 13, you could do the, the first 13, you could do the second 13, 
Whichever one that you feel like doing, you can do it. Remember, it repeats four times here. All right, that's 13. Then we have number three. You can do this in any order that you feel. I am using an Expo dry erase marker. I do not recommend using permanent because it won't clean off. And because this is mine and I don't really care, I'll use a permanent marker on this so we can test it out. This is 18. Oops. <laughs> 18 is fly away. I had a lot of ones, so that's why my envelopes are so thick. All right, that was a permanent marker. It was a Dollar Tree permanent marker, so it might, or no, those are Walmart permanent markers, so it might come off. Number six. So you will do this exact same thing on your payday. Number eight, so looks like I got two number eights. Sometimes that will happen, remember, because this is four times. So I'll do my first number eight. And then I'll have another number eight. Remember, these repeat four times, so you could do it. This is the low one, it repeats four times. So you could do it, you know, how many ever times. And then I have a 21. I mean, you could do it in whatever order you want. Just remember, it's, your journey is your journey and it's not anybody else's journey because your money is your money. Nobody else is paying your bills, are they? <laughs> so that's why you need to do your own journey at your own pace. 15. Now, if you like to calculate the total of what you have, you can as you go along. Me, I'd rather just kind of wait until the end. So all of my envelopes from payday are colored in. Now, let's say I completely filled up the whole thing. Let's just do these four, because I kind of don't want to mess this up. I want to keep this like, let's do these four. and one permanent and let that dry. And let me set that aside. I'm gonna set that aside. Ooh, set that, ooh, gosh, guys, I just can't keep it together today. I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry so we can talk about erasing. All right, so let's say I was doing the medium challenge. Here we go. This is the one that will give me 2550. And it repeats envelopes one through 50 twice. Sorry about the glare. All right, so this is my old 100 envelope set that I used and I wrote on that too because it was mine and I didn't care. All right, these are um, much, these it's much more cost effective to do the mini envelopes. So that's why I quit doing these big long ones. All right, so if we were at payday, I would bring my money and I have 20, 40, one, two. These envelopes can just go like this, but otherwise it will fold over. And I will put that in whatever thing I had for that. I would not be making these, only minis. All right, so I would go in and color my 42, either 42, because remember these repeat twice, okay? So on payday, I will put in whatever. All right, if I was participating in the large challenge, or I'm sorry, the high challenge, where it will be $5,050, the envelopes do not repeat, 
and let's just say, sorry, I put that on with dry erase so I can erase it, but let's just say this was envelope 100. So I would pull my money. Now, you can do these in order and I will place it in my envelope. Remember, one through 100, do not repeat. If you'd like to place these um, in order, you can. If you like to place them at random, you can. It will come with stickers and you will affix your own stickers because you might like this one for number eight and I might like the another one for number eight. That's why you affix your own stickers. So this was 100. I placed $100 in and I will color in envelope 100. And that one's done. All right, so now let's talk about when the challenge is over. Let's say I filled in all my envelopes, whatever. I did a great job. I have now have $1,300 to put towards whatever I wanna to put towards. So I'm gonna take a little alcohol. This is a Dollar Tree, regular Dollar Tree spray bottle. Or you can do water or whatever works for you. We're gonna wing this, cause I don't even know how good this comes off. Just spray a little alcohol on it. This is just regular rubbing alcohol. I use this for my shows, for my headbands, and I spray it down as people touch and all of that, cause people touch things. <laughs> and then I'm going to erase. So this permanent, the permanent did come off of here. So that permanent did come off. Now, I don't know if it sits more that it's gonna stay. You know what I mean? And as you know, with anything that is like dry erase, let's take this permanent off since we don't actually, oh, I think we do have 18, so we'll leave that on. So that'll be a good example to see if that comes off. You know, as you erase permanent, or as you erase, you know it kind of bleeds, well not bleeds, but um, stains it a little bit. Um, if you have a better way to take it off where it's completely off, you could feel free to use that. But rubbing alcohol is fine for me. And if it's stained lightly, that's fine. Okay. These will be on my website that I'll post here, www.crownsheadbandsandbeyond.com. Website is still under construction. I just took some time off from everything. So, you know, the website is still under construction. So don't go, if you're going to look it for Valentine's Headbands, they're not posted yet, but they will be soon. Um, so, and I'm in the process of changing the name to Crown by Ariel, so you know <laughs> how that goes. So if you have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out to me on here on Instagram, crowned underscore Y-A-S underscore Queens. Um, I'll put that, I'll link that, put that in the video too. It's also in the description box as well. Um, and then you can email me at crown.yas.queens at gmail.com if you have any questions about this. If you like to purchase one before they hit the website, don't hesitate to contact me. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you so much for listening today. Bye.